Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M, and today's video falls under the category of I have said some dumbass things about undershirts. But I have seen the lights, or at least the need, and so today I am here to right a wrong. The wrong in question was a video I shot three to four years ago where I made the bold statement that undershirts sucked and should be avoided at all costs. This was not only an ignorant statement, this was dumb, because I realized something in the past three years, that not everybody shares my Guido chic love of showing skin down to their navel. The truth is that there are some very practical and dare I say important reasons why you actually should wear an undershirt. But this video isn't about simply how to wear an undershirt. This video is about how to rock one. All right, I'm just going to get started by saying that we're all entitled to make mistakes. Unfortunately for me, my mistakes are chronicled in video format put out for the world to see. So when I want a do-over, I got to do another video. This happens to be one of those times because I have come to realize something in the past three to four years is that there are five very specific reasons why somebody may want to and actually should wear an undershirt. Reason number one, nipples. As in you don't want yours to show. Light color, lightweight fabrics have a tendency to be a little bit more sheer, translucent even. And you may have the most gorgeous areolas in the world, but letting other people see them, not super cool. Or maybe your nipples are a little more perky. They poke out a little bit. Maybe they poke out a little bit hard and you're a little self-conscious about that. Or maybe you have what we in the industry call, how do you, man boobs. All right, you got man boobs and you're like, yo, I'm self-conscious about this undershirt. Reason number two, sweat rings. Undershirts can help reduce these raunchy rings by absorbing the sweat before it actually hits your shirt. They're actually acting as like your style wingman. Your body's like, yo, I'm hot, I'm nervous, you're getting ready for this presentation, I'm sweating buckets, and your undershirt's like, yo, bro, I got you. I'll handle this, you worry about the presentation. Reason number three, warmth. It may be winter, you may live in a cold environment. Undershirts, layering helps you stay warmer. Reason number four, protection. Undershirts protect your super sexy sassy shirts from getting stained. Whether or not it's deodorant stains, yellow pits, or just the essential oils that are seeping out of your sexy body. Yeah, they're going to stain, they're going to discolor. All right, undershirts help prevent that from happening. And reason number five is comfort. You just like the feel of an undershirt. So those are five great reasons to why you would want to wear an undershirt. But as a stylish and image conscious man, there are really two reasons why undershirts pose a bit of a problem. Undershirt issue number one is visibility. First and foremost, visibility. All right, you don't want anything breaking up that clean, sexy look and line that you have created. An undershirt peeking out, tends to do that. The second issue is extra fabric. Having a baggy shirt underneath your shirt is going to definitely throw off the contour and lines of your body. These are two very real issues, and the undershirts that I was familiar with, Hanes, Fruit of the Loom, they're big, they're baggy, they're boxy, they show underneath everything, are still something to be rebelled against. After extensive research, testing, and wearing, I have come to the conclusion that not all undershirts were created equal. So here's what happened. After I did that video, I started getting, every week I would get probably five to 10 emails from guys, you guys talking about, I need to wear an undershirt for this reason, for that reason. And I came up with those five essential reasons why you would want to wear an undershirt. So once I figured out that this was indeed something that needed to be addressed, I went on an undershirt odyssey. I started trying to find and buy every undershirt I could get my grubby little Alpha M paws on. I have tried super cheap undershirts. I've tried super expensive, like as in like $75. It, it, there's something wrong when your undershirt costs more than the shirt you're actually wearing on top of it. But the deal is, I've tried a bunch. The brand that I like the best is from a company called Rib T because of the three Fs. Fit feel and function. The first F is for fit. All right, when looking for an undershirt, you need one that fits you like a glove. It needs to be snug, all right? Not a lot of extra fabric. It needs the contour to your body. Another aspect of fit, that undershirt needs to be long enough. Look how long this bad boy is, all right? You tuck it in, it's staying in all day long. The second F is for feel. 
The undershirt needs to feel great against your skin. These rib tees are made of Suprema, Supima, what, I don't even know how to pronounce it. The fact is it feels great against my nipples. And the third F is for function. What does this undershirt need to do? Does it need to just keep you dry? Are you wearing a shirt and tie? Go with the crew neck. Me? I need that undershirt to not be visible when I'm wearing a collared shirt like this. And V-neck undershirts, finding a good one that you actually can't see is next to impossible. This is the best one that I found. Some are deep enough, but then you can see them on the sides. This one, honestly, is totally undetectable. And it's not like you're moving and all of a sudden you say, uh-uh, you can't see it at all. Now let's talk about undershirt color. In order to have the best chance of wearing something that is undetectable, like we're talking underwear stealth action, you wanna go with something that is complementary to the tone of the shirt you're wearing. So, three colors of undershirts. You've got white, you've got black, you've got gray. Now, if you're wearing a light shirt, go white. If you're going a medium shade shirt, go gray. If you're going dark, go black. Undershirts rock. But if they're showing, if they're baggy, if they're bulky, then they still suck. So, you wear an undershirt or are you rocking an undershirt? To rock it, you need to pay attention to the three F's. Fit, feel, and function. For me, the best on the market, rib tee. This v-neck, undetectable. Guys, undershirts are great. Like I said, not in the old video, in this video. They are functional, they are not fashionable, not fashionable, practical. They serve five very specific functions, but now you know how to rock one if you're going to wear one.